What's up everybody, you got the car man and I am going to give you some quick tips on the Sebring convertible bumper cover, the front bumper cover. And the reason is, is because I don't want you guys to be like the guy that did this, which ultimately ended up in my lap to fix. So I'm going to go over exactly what you need to do to take this off. This is very, very simple stuff. Matter of fact, when they did it, they actually ripped this, which I'm getting ready to fix. Might shoot a quick video on that in case it happens to you. Um, so the first thing you'll notice right here in both corners of the fender well, this is right here is where your fender actually marries on the inside. As you see, this has a ripped hole. So there's a 10 millimeter, I'm assuming 10 millimeter bolt that comes up underneath the fender well that you should be able to access. Please take that out first. As you see, it's hooked right here. No big deal. Just remove those two. I mean, remove the one, stay in place. Secondly, let me come over here. I'm going to show you on the inside. As we can see the fender cover here. You see those screws right there? It seems strange that they're going nowhere. Well, they actually go on the side of the bumper cover. So, you would take out the top underneath here. I bet you I got this feeling. And there they are. Look, we got sheet metal screws under here that are not supposed to be there and the regular bolt is missing no surprise okay so don't be this guy and you see he duct taped it on here so it would stay you can see what's left of the duct tape uh, anyhow so we've got the two underneath the fender one's a hook one's a bolt that's it one two on each side of the skirt here now when we look at the top You'll see four holes. I'm grabbing one right here. By the way, this is all that was holding this car. These little guys, you'll see them like this. And all they do is they just separate. And then it allows it to pull out. So it'll go in here just like this. See, it's kind of like that. And they just pull out. Okay. And on the bottom, you see them one two, three, four on the bottom, and you got two right here on the side that are going to be part of the rain guard that goes on the bottom. Actually, I'm not 100% sure because I didn't see this come out. I'm just assuming that, yeah. So you've got four in the center and two on the side there, so that's four, six, eight of these little guys on the bottom. It should take you all of 10 minutes to do this. This should take you another four or five up here at the top and maybe another 10 minutes to take the two bolts out of the side. I'm saying 30 minutes and nose cover's out. When you get it out, don't pull it. Just massage it out so it comes out of here. And give it support right here at the top with both hands. So when you gently move it out, it doesn't hurt anything. Therefore, you don't screw up. These things are very expensive. I mean, this is not a cheap piece of uh, plastic, man. This thing is expensive. And I just wanted to touch base on this with you guys because, you know, a matter of fact, if you're looking at it, it's a very simple job. Just follow what I'm telling you to do. Uh, if you've got fog lights like these, just reach under there, unclip them. Um, and that's it. Your first bumper reinforcement right here stays with it. So no big deal on that. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Meanwhile, this is going to go in my Sebring Chrysler playlist. So... Subscribe and get on that playlist if you've got some Chrysler stuff you need. And uh, follow me on Facebook if you want to talk about this in any way, shape, or form. Like I said, this is a this is a level of zero as far as easy. Like this is basic primary stuff. But if you don't understand where the fasteners are at, you can turn it into a disaster real quick. So that's why I'm making the video. So that doesn't happen. All right, nothing but peace and love from the car man shooting right out of RVA. Nothing but love. Support your military. Peace out to the next problem.